Hello guys and welcome to another Pro Factory video. So today we're going to be covering the best Firefox ad blocker extensions. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now of course what I want to cover first is what exactly is Mozilla Firefox. So Mozilla Firefox is a free and open source web browser that offers a fast and secure web browsing. Now there's at least over 100 million users actively using this browser and has grown over the years to become one of the most popular open source products for the web. Uh, so pretty much uh, what the Mozilla Firefox is, it's pretty much similar to Chrome or Bing or any other uh, any other open source uh, web browsers to use out there. And it has grown popularity as well. It's, it's pretty much another great browser to use. And so now that we've covered the Mozilla Firefox uh, browser, we'll, we're going to go ahead and check out the add-ons. But of course, before we check out the add-ons, we want to make sure what exactly a Firefox extension is. So it's as simple as what it is. Uh, it's a Firefox extension is also known as a plugin or add-on. Um, and it's pretty much just like an app for the Firefox browser. And it pretty much just brings a whole level of functionality to make the user's experience a lot easier when browsing the internet. So if you have, if you're wanting, uh, as we have now, our, our topic today, which is the ad blocker. Now, if you're wanting to, ha to reduce the amount of, of advertisements or completely get rid of them, then you would have to use an extension for it. Or if you wanted to get some more security, then you would have an extension for security and privacy. Uh, if you just want to make your life easier and say you want to screenshot a whole page, then you would have an extension for screenshotting a whole page. Uh, besides using the shortcuts on your keyboard, there are, of course, the extensions that we use to help our, oh, well, just to uh, help our experience or um, give us better experience um, when using the actual browser. Um, but yes, there are hundreds of Mozilla extensions that are created for different functionalities by developers. Uh, Firefox did initially lack from useful plugins, uh, but what's great is that it's actually all changed now. And uh, it's as good as using the Chrome extensions when browsing using Chrome. So I'm gonna use one example here which is called the ad blocker. And of course, I don't want to explain too much into it. I'll just go through all the different ones available on the actual uh, site itself. Uh, but starting off, uh, we've got the ad blocker, um, or I think the name for it is ad blocker ultimate. Now, as I've uh, said there, advertisements tend to be everywhere. Most of them are pretty flashy too. So what would be the solution towards this? The ad blocker ultimate is a great way to remove these adverts, which may potentially have hidden malware, or also just a means to remove unwanted advertisement. It's just pretty much just uh, it's a it's a great way to clear up your desktop as well. It's um, sometimes adverts can slow down your computer, uh, depending on what sort of spec you're running for your your computer. Of course, it can slow it down. Uh, another way to reduce the um, or to increase the speed, of course, is to use an ad blocker to remove all the unnecessary advertisement. And as I've stated there, it can have hidden malware or hidden viruses. So of course, it's great. It's a great way to remove these completely, uh, depending on what site you're at. Uh, as well as that, it reduces interruptions if you're watching a YouTube video, especially since it can get a little bit annoying if you're getting constant uh, advertisements. Of course, you don't want to be going through that if you're watching a YouTube video or you're streaming a video. So that's one great way to avoid it. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check out some of the available ad blockers on the Firefox extension. Okay, so we're pretty much just on the extension uh, part here. Uh, all I would need to do is search up ad block. And as you can see, there's 8,898 results for the ad block. Uh, of course, a couple of different ones to go through there. And starting off with the stop, uh, the start there is the ad blocker ultimate, which of course is a recommended one as well. 
You've got Ghostray, uh, which is a privacy ad blocker as well. You've got Ad Guard ad blocker, Webmail ad blocker, which is of course great for Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook, and Yahoo Mail. We have one specified for YouTube itself, which is ad blocker for YouTube. Ublock Origin, ad block for Firefox. So what we'll do is we'll actually check out the first one here, which is the ad block ultimate. Now, as it says, we'll just add that to Firefox and then we'll just go ahead and add that in and select OK. Uh, so it says here that we can pretty much donate. You don't have to. This is just an optional thing. Now, if I go on to Conley Cove, which is one of our examples here, and I'll actually just go ahead and disable the filtering for this website. And it should uh, give me two points of advertisement, hopefully. So wait and see. So as you can see, there's a block at the bottom for some advertisement and it should come up now. So there's a um, ad advert there on the bottom, as you can see. Now, if I do go ahead and activate that again, so just enable filtering on this website. This is just by clicking the little puzzle piece on the top right, by the way, if you guys can't see that. Uh, it completely removes that advertisement. So, of course, it gets rid of those pesky little annoying advertisements that you don't want to see, especially it's, it's, it's great for um, if you're wanting to get rid of it. So you, you could screenshot the page, you could do that. And, of course, there are other um, variations for the ad blockers. Uh, it does also work with YouTube, so we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. Okay, so initially you would have some advertisement going on in the... Uh, the wet, the bit of white spacing here and what's great is that it, there's actually no advertisement going on there and we'll see what happens when we remove the ad blocker okay so I've went ahead and disabled the filter on that ad blocker and as you can see we've got a Google ad here and pretty much as you can see it's a clickable link uh, sometimes you don't want to see that and of course if I do select on a YouTube video uh, which may have some potential ads, which will have potential ads um, if I click on them. Uh, luckily, with some of the ones that we have, we don't actually have any adverts. Um, but of course, you can't enable that again to filter out all the advertisements. And as you can see, that will disappear. And that's now gone away. So we have other ones there, as you can see, which is Ghostry. And uh, this is also a privacy ad blocker as well. Uh, that's pretty useful for blocking ads, stopping trackers, and to speed up websites as well. And just a little insight on it. So Ghostry can help users see if anyone is tracking them. It gives them the ability to block or unblock them. It's also great for helping users see who's tracking websites. And the users can also disable trackers, which can help them avoid letting trackers know that you were there. So this was actually just a little insight on what it looks like. So as you can see with Ghostray, you can have a simple view or a detailed view. It could show you the amount of trackers that you've blocked, the requests that you've modified as well. And you can choose to trust the site, restrict the site. You can po uh, you could pause the Ghostray as well. And as you can see, uh, it has ad blocking enabled as well, anti-tracking and a never consent. So as well as Ghostry being an ad blocker, it's also a privacy and security extension. So that's what's really, really good about that. Now, of course, I've, as I've stated, there are other variations for the different ad blockers or um, blockers in general. Now, you even have one there that does one for emails, as I've stated. And you even have ones there for Canvas blockers, which alters, as you can see, JavaScript APIs uh, to prevent fingerprinting. So that's something uh, there for you as well. A couple of different ones here, which is ad blocker light. So blocks ad seamlessly on popular websites. So I could keep uh, going through the different ad blockers, but these are more or less the same. Uh, one there for Twitter, Twitter ad blocker. But to be honest, uh, I would just choose the one that is most popular or recommended uh, as you can see we've got here one here as well for wix ads so that that'll be good if you have a wix site 
of course th those advertisements can be a little bit annoying so i would just uh, go ahead and select the ones that are recommended which is the ad blocker ultimate uh ghostry there uh ad guard ad blocker and webmail ad blocker and of course just all the other recommended ones now you can sort this out by relevance as well and by badging so the ones that are recommended and just make sure that you select extension and there is 23 extensions found for adblock so these are some of the most popular uses uh, improve youtube so there's one there so there there's an ad blocker playlist so that's really cool about that uh but yes uh that's pretty much this video wrapped up uh, if you guys have any questions at all or if I've missed anything, please do leave them in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.